Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about fully diluted valuation or FTV. So what is fully diluted valuation in cryptocurrency? FTV can simply be defined as the market cap of the project once the maximum number of tokens have been issued by the development team. In other words, it is a method of calculating the future market cap of a project. So here is the formula to calculate the FTV. FTV equals the maximum supply of a token times the current market price of the token. How is FTV different from market cap? Market cap can be defined as the current market value of a blockchain project. So market cap equals the circulating supply of token times the current market price of the token. So here you see the difference. So the market cap takes into consideration the circulating supply and the FTV or the fully diluted valuation takes into account the maximum supply of a given token. So when a token is listed, there are vested tokens, there are locked tokens, and they are going to be unlocked accordingly to a vesting schedule. So if the price doesn't change, which is not going to happen in crypto, but if the price doesn't change, the market cap would increase over time because the circulating supply will also increase with all the unlocked tokens. So let's use one inch to give you an example. This is a screenshot taken from CoinGecko. So as you can see here, you have the information regarding the market cap and also the fully diluted valuation, the circulating supply and also the maximum supply and also the price. So taking into consideration that this was taken at a specific time, so the price changes all the time, meaning that the market cap and the FTV will always vary as well. So for this example, the market cap of one inch is obtained by multiplying the circulating supply, which is around 536 million tokens times the price, which gives a market cap of $365 million. And the FTV is given by multiplying the maximum supply, which is 1,500 million tokens times the price, which gives you an FTV of around 1,021 million dollars. So again, bear in mind that this is always changing because the price changes and also over time the circulating supply will also increase. So FTV can be used as an indication of the future value of a project. But how reliable FTV is as a valuation parameter? So the basic problem with FTV is that it ignores the possible decrease in the price of a token with the increase in its circulating supply. So when you have more tokens in circulation, usually you will have also a higher selling pressure and the price can decrease over time. So FTV can be very useful when you are comparing projects with similar tokenomics but over time, please bear in mind that with the release of tokens and with the increase of circulating supply, there might be an increase also on the selling pressure and the price can decrease. Also, FTV is a very important metric when you are analyzing uh, startups. Uh, so during seed rounds, uh, private rounds, IDO rounds, it's always important to take a look at the FTV and compare this value with other projects to see if the project might be undervalued or overvalued. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give us a like, hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time we upload a new video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.